can't stop eating. You must, I must eat the chips. You, you these chips. I must eat you. You think biting my bracket, you think breaking my bracket is going to stomach me eating? I'll eat. Welcome to my channel again. It's Sunny Jimmy, aka Chris, aka Kido, aka Manchang, really, I miss you. Yeah, so I'm here today. Basically, please do a story time because I feel like my stories have to be heard because y'all need to hear my stories. By the way, and please ignore my contentious because I'm so sorry. I have to eat this now because if I don't eat this now, I'll not forgive myself later because the way this contentious was just, I knew. I realized that if this, these things were full five minutes ago, no boost. I'm not even boosting right now. I'm not boosting. So if you're a new subscriber and you just subscribe, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. Kagi me a kagi. Welcome to the family. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. Come get your cola. Now your popcorn. Come on, watch video. Today, I'm here to talk about a story time of how I got in a fight. Okay. People would think that I'm a very troublesome person. I'm really not. Like, I really, I mind my business. But it's just something about me when you start, you know, people that I really rock with and you start disrespecting. That's when the beast in me will come out and face you. Not the man. I got in this brawl with this African uncle at a party. Let's hop into this because I need to vomit this tea. And so, basically, we're at this party, right? We're just minding our business. No, I'm not. Then I don't think dancing, eating meat, eating rice, eating pop off. Hey! We're enjoying life at that party. This is the African wedding, so a lot of things go down. Like, there's a really, at African weddings, there's a lot of um, commotion going on. Nobody's really like paying attention. Like everybody's in their own little bubble. Nobody's paying attention. So we're going out. Like we go out because the food, the way the food was set up was that the food was outside of the hall. So like instead of the food to be inside the hall, you have to go outside to go and get food. So we had already we had already eaten like five plates because we know me. Hey, big boys, I have to eat. Until I cannot breathe anymore. Especially at an African party, bro. You can't go to an African wedding and see food and you don't eat. Even if you are not hungry, you will eat the food. Because the food is just appetite. African food. Hey! Well, I have to go and eat the food. This uncle came. He started gisting. Hmm? He was doing gist. So, first, I went and grabbed the plate. My friend was like, okay, go grab the plate for me because I'm here to talk to her friend. Her friend was crying about something like that. Something was happening with her friend. So, she said, she'll go and get her plate and come back and then she'll. So, the, so there's this uncle that was eyeing us the whole time. Eyeing me and my friend the whole time. As in eyeing. As in he'll turn around, you say, you say, ah, what, what, is, what, is one, what is one's problem? What did they do? What, what did they worry? Why did they, they look with so? Eh? Your eye, they pain you. Your eye, they pain you. Cause you know, you know, you just be going places. People just like looking. Like, what's your problem? What's your problem? So, but I mean, I just ignored it. I was like, you know, this day, I've come out. I look rubbish. But I want to go the plates. I came back. This man was standing at the corner by the door, just looking at my friend. I said, at uh, first, I was like, I get the plate to her. I was look at him. I get the plate to her. I looked at him. I traced his eyes to where he was looking at. I said, so he's looking at this girl. I said, good. This uncle's. I don't want one. You can. Come. Come and talk to her. It's just. It was like he was targeting a time to go and talk to her. I said, Where are you come? She was like, Bro, bro, kiddo. This man. I hope you not come around and talk to him because I will embarrass him. All. I said, Don't worry. Me and you will embarrass him together. Sip it off. I stretch my hand to go and get a thing of chicken. Lo and behold, this man comes and is trying to. First, he's trying to like have my friend ser help my friend serve her food, cause she was getting rice. Right, I was getting chicken. She was getting rice. He was trying to act as if he was trying to help her serve the food. I looked. At, I said, "Hey, hey, hey!" I said, "What's that?" He said, hey, "What do you mean, young man? What do you mean?" I said, "Sir, did they ask you to come and help serve food? Why are you the one serving her food?" Did you not see me also picking that same spoon to come and put rice in my plates? 
Did you come and help me when I had to 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 to, to, to put the rest in my place? Why are you helping her? Why is it only her? I said, Well, I was just trying to come and help the young lady. I said, We don't need your help, sir. Sorry, we are fine. If she wanted your help, she would have called you. No, so she would have called you. Oh, so, we never call for your help. So carry ballot where you can't go and can't bring for we. Carry and go back inside that hall. No room to try not to try that kind of no 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 the whole reception, even in the wedding church, you are eyeing her. Idiot. I didn't call me an idiot because I didn't call me an idiot. You, you, you're not slick. Are you think you're slick? I'm not going to put your eyes in her plate. Shut up. You're not trying to put anything in her plate. You're trying to put something else in her plate. You are trying to do something else. And if you don't. Ah, you see these African uncles? They are very. Sometimes they are very, very bold. You understand me? They're very bold. Oh, if I tell y'all uh, the amount of uncles that I've come across that are just broad and I when they'll talk to you as if as if you were squatting apartments back back with them back in the university. <laughs> so my friend was like, no, uncle, if I wanted to have a call you now, you know my friend had to talk to her. I thought talk for yourself. Keep by yourself. She said, no, uncle, if I if I had to call for you now, after I'll call you now, uh, I'll just, just try to put my right. He told her he does, he said, if I want to help you, is it a crime? I said, oh, so now he's bringing legal matters. I said, good, bring the legal matters. Let us discuss legalness. Did we ask for your help to come and service? Did we ask for your help? Did I ask for your help? He was watching him. Me, as a, like, I'm a boy too, like, I understand what he's looking at. I know what he wants, like, and you're, you're as a shameless, you shameless old fool. You're here sitting, trying to discuss something with a the, with the small girl. They crazy. Your mama born you a leg man. Your mama coach you for you. It's just God, the God in me that did not make me exceed my limits because I would have exceeded beyond measures. Oh, young man, you're so disrespectful. I said, listen to me. I said, at this point, forget respect. So he let us in. So he was just like, ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. mumble, mumble. But I said, yes, mumble and go, please. Okay, so me and my friend, we decided to um, stay in the hall. We're like, we're not going to come out here. Like, you know, no, we're not going to come back out here. So we went back inside the hall. We we're eating our food. But then we say, ah, came and got food again. We do not get drinks again. So we just go back. You know, I need to go back and get the drinks. The bar was outside too. We went outside to go to the bar. That uncle standing at that bar, as if he was hearing our conversation all the way from the hall inside. He said, hmm, this man, you, <laughs> this man, he better not open his dirty smelling sticky mouth and start vomiting rubbish like he was vomiting at that table, that food aisle. I will exceed those limits. They crazy. So we got to the um to the bar section. She asked for pink lemonade. I think I asked for water. I don't remember. I asked for I asked for some drink. This man turned around and said, "Uh uh, you're a big girl now. Order big girl drinks." I said, "This man." Eh? I, I was like, "Come again?" My friend was like, "No no 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 no. I just want pink lemonade." Ah, uh, he said. He thought, I thought you just even want to say okay. Mm -mm. He's now open his mouth again wide. With his chest talking, talking. He opened his mouth and said, I I thought I thought you were a big girl. You're drinking pig lemonade. It's pig lemonade for big girls. I said this man. That's why I said uncle, now by force. I said you go force her for, for go all that big girl drink. You all you got all that strong, strong drink. So if you can't do your nose away the plant so I said nobody will warn you for that food aisle. Nobody where I warn you for that shop, for that shop, please. Nobody where I warn, say no, you won't, you know, open your mouth, begin to talk to rubbish again for we. For that place where you go get, go where you go get chop. You see the test standing, they open them up. They crazy. No, they fear. Uncle, I said that second time is when you don't open your mouth, begin to talk rubbish. That second time, first time I give you grace. God's grace. Second time you can't open your mouth again, begin to talk rubbish. I said, that means that you know the fear face. You see, man picking there for the gay side, so you see the open mouth, the gay way. I said, listen, if you ever in your life, <laughs> I said, open up my force. You go for, you, are you going to force her to go and drink the pig, to go and drink and this deal, whatever you go to work? Hi, I know you got to go and put charm in her drink. Then he said, young man. Young man, I want you. I want you not to open your mouth and talking. I want you to get disrespectful. I said, again, uncle, forget respect for this place. Forget respect. You didn't hear me so. 
when it comes to drinking matter, forget respect. Now, when you get drunk like that, does it res do you respect you? Eh? I did ask you. I said, please. I know what your aims are. For the second time. Shh. Leave my friend alone. No, listen, let me tell you guys something. When you're going out with your friends, especially at African functions, especially if it's a female friend, you have to have your eye open. You need to tear your eye. That means say tear your, not your eye tear. Watch everything, all your surroundings. Watch everything. Are you hearing me? Because lots of things happen, and then your friend will come and tell you, say, oh, but well, was I not at that party too? Why did I not see that? Because you are not being aware. You are not being alert. You are being negligent of your friend's security. You have to be very aware because these uncles, they're very bold though. They're bold. Like, Especially, imagine if I was not even there. Imagine if I was not there. You are persistent and persistent. Ah, they don't die. They don't die. This is the third time. So after that, he kept quiet the game. The bartender brought the lemonade with a drink. Whatever. This is when the party was getting hot. It was hot. You know that you know that part of the African party program. On the program, you would say dance, dance, dance. That's where that part was. We were three deep in that hole. Yo, are you feeling me? We're late. Like, we were dancing. Oh, but they got late. My cousin, man, they got late. The pussy, they were so flavorful. Nah, man. So we came out. We're like, okay, we're hot. Like, we know we're sweating, dancing. Hey, money. Hey, all the my money fall on me. Money falling on my skin. So my friend was like, okay, not gonna lie. Like, just go get the drinks. And I'm gonna be waiting right here. Basically, this um. Cause it's like you know how these African people are becoming late, so, so they came late and it was like they were trying to like steal our table, like where we were sitting. It's like you know what, go get the drinks and I'm gonna be over here washing the table. I was like, okay, no problem. So I went and got the drinks. I came back. I was giving her the drinks. I was like, okay, let's go sit down. You know, she was like, pedo. I was like, what is this? That uncle came back again. I said, which uncle? She said, the uncle came back again. I said, I hope. I hope not different uncle. I hope it's not the same uncle that I was talking to disrespectfully. I hope it's a different uncle this time. It's better that it's even a different uncle than the same one that I have told three times as if it's a three year old child. She said, It's that uncle again. I said, Good. I gave her the drinks. I said, Yeah. It's obvious. It's all stupid fool. Don't know when to stop. They don't know. When to cease. So this time I go and tell him a piece of my mind. Not even a piece because when I talk, the whole mind opens and it transfers to my mouth and I vomit everything my mind is contemplating. But I will speak. So I said, wait, she was like, Chris, bro. She said, like, no, 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 Chris, like, calm down. I said, mm, don't tell me to calm down. All stupid African fools cannot listen when people talk. So it's hard to go and confront. I went there. I was straight. He was over there talking to some whoever you talk to. I said, I didn't, I don't care. I don't care if you're talking to the governor. I don't care. I was straight there. I said, listen, sir. I tapped him on the shoulder. I said, uncle. You know, he said, young man. I said, shut up. Shut up. Don't call me young man. I said, so you came back again. After my friend has resisted you three times. How many times must we resist you? What time is enough? You, you should not even be attempting to be resisted because you are an old man. You don't care. Look at your age. Look at your age. At your big and weary age. That's so opening. You are gathering strength. Gathering strength. To come and talk to small, small, pino, pino, pino girls. Head not, your head not fine. I said, Uncle Man, I tell you something. Your head. Uh, sorry, forgive me. I was speaking too much pigeon because when I get irritated, pigeon starts running, just for me, it's like it just comes out like water. It starts flowing like water out of my mouth. It's just how I am. I don't know. So he said, Eh, hey, I said, You. I said, Man, I tell you something. Eh? Your head not fine. I tell you, let me tell you one more thing. Your mommy not born you fine. I don't tell you. For man your business when it concerns my friend. And you still got that ghost. This is what I started to, to, to question. I said, this is your shoes ready like rats. This is your rats. This is your rats shoes. This is your rats shoes. Forget your suits. Forget your shining suits. Mm -mm. Uncle, you they fine. You they crazy. I don't think for leaving my friend alone. You see me persist. First, now for section where we be chop. Second, now for section where we want drink bimbo. Now for the, I said, you know the trial. By now. 
your organs and your bones should be dismantling. You should not be having strength to come and be talking nonsense to young girls. Shameless! I said, Uncle, you are your uncle. You don't reach your papa in age. My grandpapa for that matter. And you are still opening mouth. You are smelling ancient teeth. This one said, This young man, you are coming again. You are coming again. You are talking to me as well on your time. I'm not your bitch. Then the auntie that he was talking to, I was with him. She turned around, she said, Hey, hey, wonders shall never end. I said, Wonders have ended. I said, Wonders have ended. Listen, you old fool. Leave my friend alone. You are an uncle. You are an old man. At this point, all the people in the hall, like, that were outside, they were all looking. They're like, ah, What's going on? What's going on? Trying to. I said, The more they look, the more I hear louder. That's what you have to teach this, this old African uncle. You have to teach them for lessons sometimes. Hey, listen. You are old. Your bones, then they don't oh, they don't feeble, oh, they don't wig. You know, so you know if you woke up for bed without giving up the ghost, it's your. Uh, hey, what he said? Hey, hey, that little small picky said you can't insult me. Hey, you know what small picky for can't insult you? No, open your mouth for things we not can sign you. No, the can't, the can't, the can't handbook my friend with the MSO. No, the can't handbook me and my friend because me and my friend we know they do not see the open man. You are all open, smelly, ancient man. You're still talking about. <laughs> Say where, where, where he ran, he, he was run, he was he ran. I don't even know. Where he, I don't care where he can run to hell for if he for I can cover your head in shame. I said, please run. In fact, fly. Ah, Auntie, just still opening her mouth. Wonder shall never end. I said, you, yo, yo, boy, you know, you toast. You know, no say he, he can't begin to toast my friend for backside. You don't know that one. He be trying to can't toast my friend for backside. Yes, you don't know. I said, who are you to? He's my husband. I said, oh, wow, good. Ma, tell you something. Warn your husband. Day. Warn that your husband. Day, me so. Collect your husband, sis. Sister, collect your husband. Because your husband, he had no fine. He had no fine. Stop. He had Christ. The wonders have. Well, the I said, wonders. I don't think say wonders. They not end. Uh, go for your master. Consult him. Let me so. Because when I, do, when I get some serious. Conversation and when you get for sub apps. All my subscribers, all my subbies, all my sub subs. Make sure when you go places, you always have an assertive friend with you. A friend that does not fear itch, does not fear gray hair, does not fear ancient smelling breath mouth. Anybody, muscle, wet, wet, doesn't fear anything. Make sure you have that kind of friend because those kind of friends will come in need one day. If it was not for me, like, me personally, I'm just very assertive. Like, nonsense cannot come around me and I don't confront you. They so. no, that's the way they do it. You hear me so. I can't just do it. I have to talk. I have to talk. If I realize that there's danger around my friends, I'm going to speak. Things like that. What if something happens? Like, you know, what if something happens? Like, and I don't, I'm not, and then like, next time I'm there to blame. So you're always alert. When you go places, make sure you're always alert. Make sure your eyes are always open to everything. Because you will see the signs. Because, because if you're not alert, something will happen. And when you go and trace back to that situation at the time where it happened, you will realize that there was actually signs that led up to that to that situation. If there was things that you could have done to prevent it, and you didn't take action. And if you want me to be your strong friend, I will be your strong friend. No problem. We are all in this together. Ah, uh, we're going to shaku shaku forever. So yes, thank you people so much for watching my video. Thank you for enjoying. I hope you enjoyed the story time and I hope you copped a lesson in this one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do anything you want to do. Share to your friends, your mother, your father. All the new subscribers. I love you guys so much. I love all of you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Man, I'll cry for you too. Man, I'll cry for you too because I'm going to cry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do 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 do